side, wheeled over to that back section there, though, to finish the engine one around the outside. Uh, lots of multiple line choices to get really out there in my eyes. Yeah, for sure. It's, uh, you know, radio cross is always going to be for some of my mind, so uh, for them to uh, make adjustments for the players and better racing, I think it's going to be awesome. And, you know, there's a few ways to line, so I'm glad you so I think uh, it's going to be some better racing. And I don't know if it's just me or the fact that I was actually visibly on the track for the first time, but the soil looks like it's pretty well watered tonight. What's your take? Yeah, for sure. Uh, I, at first, I thought maybe they're putting that a little bit too much, but after going out there, I think it's pretty much spot on. Because yesterday, I, there just wasn't enough moisture to hold the berms together, so they were deteriorating pretty quick. But judging from that first practice session, I think it's going to be a better track than that. Yeah, so I got to make the most of the results last night. I thought they slept pretty good. Yeah, for sure. I, I mean, I was happy with that second meet, but that first one, that fourth, uh, you know, I'm going to try to put on the blocks every, every moto, so uh, just try to capitalize on the better starts. Yeah, we're getting to the point in the series right now where the difference between that first and the fourth is the big talking about, you know, six, eight points there. Yeah, exactly. And, and you know, I, I know that I'm a pretty consistent rider, so it's, uh, it should pay off in the long run. But, you know, like you said, those six, eight points are not a pretty good reason. Yeah, just trying to get some good start tonight. Hopefully, uh, you know, get close to the front of that GPF meet. Yeah, okay. I know you've been down to Georgia a couple of times there. You've been up for this uh, opening couple of rounds. Headed back to Kemba, Ontario with your front end. Series round four, we're underneath the Future West uh, Kawasaki Canada Arena Cross Canada. I'm talking to Dex Holman, what's happening, Dex? Not too much, just out riding bikes, having a great time, uh, enjoying the track, and loving the atmosphere. Yeah, loving and enjoying, lots of that going on around here. I see everybody with smiles on their face, and your crew's got a big uh, part in that. Well, for sure, it's, it's great though, Future West team, everyone's working really hard, and I'm looking towards uh, the bigger picture and bringing the Canadian motocross team up. Yeah, you guys are uh, doing the right thing. Uh, a little bit of purse money, lots of riders coming out from all across the country and all across the continent for that matter. Brad Nauta was riding down south and he's back up here competing. Uh, he made the top step in the box last night. Good chance to see him back. Yeah, for sure. It's awesome for him to come all the way up from Georgia and uh, we appreciate everyone coming up from Washington, wherever you're coming. Ontario, it's, it's great. It's nothing but, uh, nothing but good for the sport. Yeah, so many cool things to do. I was over there talking to your brother Matt over at the BMX area. He's kicking out some pretty sick tricks and a whole bunch of kids running around there with smiles on their faces with a good constructive purpose and something fun to do. Yeah, the BMX is great. I, I grew up riding BMX and Matt and I raced BMX at the skate park. And we've done a lot of riding and he loves it. It's cool to uh, bring uh, something different to the motocross and let people see the BMX riding and, uh, and all that good stuff. Okay, let's talk a little bit about motocross. Uh, last night in the track, uh, how'd it go for you? That was good. I made one main. Um, it was it's pretty stacked. The whole field. There's tons of riders. I mean, I think there's like 22 riders. And 14 make the main event and uh, made the main event. Survived the first night. I think I got 11 and uh, want to break the top 10 tonight. 
Yeah, I think uh, you're on the right track out there. You were pushing throughout the whole moto and you were actually making up ground and not a lot of guys doing that, that track last night. Yeah, my fitness was pretty good. I'm doing some good cardio and excited to race tonight. How much has, uh, you know, the likes of having somebody like Sean Hamblin with all his experience and, you know, his accolades in this sport help you out? I think it's great. I mean, he's, he's done so much racing and he understands motocross so well. I think it's really, really awesome working with him. He's a great guy. And, yeah, it's pretty cool. Well, I'm looking forward to you and your teammate uh, both making uh, main tonight and uh, giving it your best shot and having fun out there. Sounds good. Yeah, me and Ethan, hopefully we can put a good throw on tonight. All right. Uh, who do you want to thank, Jax? I want to thank uh, everybody with the Future West, Jamie, uh, my grandma, Leslie Reed at uh, Jetta Bella, my mom, dad, all my, all my friends that come and support me, and uh, everybody that comes to the races. It's awesome. Yeah, so good that they stepped up. Speaking of Jenta Bella, I sent my beautiful wife over there for a couple hours today, and she's got a big smile on her face. Man, I'll tell yeah. you, they do some nice work there. Yeah. So, uh, you know, if you're a show, I'm All right, next moment. All the best to me. Sounds good. Thank you very much, man. I'm talking to Ethan Ladd, Future West Kawasaki, uh, Canadian Arena Cross Series, number 85. What's happening, Ethan? Not much. Just got to practice. You're pretty good out there. Ballpark's. Yeah, good to see you're feeling good. I saw you on the ground there once last night. Y'all good to go? Yeah, someone down in front of me and I tried to cut in and just got too much to get out of the way and hurt my shoulder a little, but I feel better today. Yeah, there's a little bit of block passing going on there, some half-hearted and some full-on, and uh, you were the recipient of one of those, so uh, you get a license plate number. Yeah, it's definitely a little uh, interesting out there. People, it's hard to pass in this track, so sometimes you gotta get, you got to get a little close. Yeah, our creative line making and all that stuff uh, pretty much defines everything arena cross. Uh, it makes for a pretty entertaining sport for the fans, and that's why those bleachers were full and will be again tonight. Yeah, I'm sure it's going to be huge. Lots of fans this, this week. It was huge last Saturday, the last race on the Saturday. Hopefully, it'll be even better this week. I'm going to start again, sorry. <laughs> That's good though because every time we do it we get better at it. <laughs> I like to call that technical difficulties. <laughs> okay, you ready? I'm still going. Yeah, Wayne's audio was good. I'm talking to Ethan Ladd, number 85, uh, round four of the Future West Canadian Kawasaki Arena Cross Series. What's going on, Ethan? Not much, just got out of practice. Felt pretty good out there. Hopefully we're doing the qualifiers. Yeah, what's uh, going to be the key to that? I know you uh, were out there last night, you had a little bit of trouble, a little bit of paint trading going on all part of the arena cross, but uh, all day today, what's been your main focus? Yeah, I felt really good last night, both by fourth and first and fifth and the other one, and then had a bit of trouble in the second main, but overall, it felt good last night, and I'm feeling good so far in practice today, and just trying to keep my wheels on the ground. Yeah, you were looking good out there, I was watching some of those uh, bowl turns up close, and you know, it looks like it's really hard to maintain the speed all the way around the apex of those turns. Uh, that particular corner I was in there watching a couple of you were kind of squaring it off and getting a lot of the bike. Yeah, these corners are slippery than they look. Kind of get the moisture and keep it a little bit tacky, but it's a really hard under, under layer of under the bridge. So. Yeah, I noticed it's a fine line between twisting that throttle and having that back wheel break loose. You want to hook it up as long as possible out there. Yeah, you definitely got to be smooth throttle and try and keep the back tire from spinning out on you, otherwise you're going to end up on the ground. So, you know, last night under the belt and uh, lots of time to think about it today. Uh, what's been your main focus all day? Uh, just trying to eat healthy and get some sleep last night so you can be wide awake for the racing tonight. Yeah, I've, I've talked about this in a couple other podcasts with other riders. I went to bed last night at midnight and I woke up at 4 all bright. I wish you put the tail wait to go racing and we were still like 12 hours away from the drop. Yeah, I slept until about 10, 10 this morning, trying to get as much sleep as I can, having a good breakfast and feel pretty good this night. Well, attaboy, you're looking really good out there, and I'm so happy to see that uh, Future West uh, Canadian Kawasaki's helped out to make this endeavor possible. I mean, we talked a little bit.